Today on Let's Talk Sunday, we are going to discuss, we're going to discuss this topic. This topic is really good. Your future is bright with possibilities. It's just some things we got to change in our lives that make our future bright. When we pull back on some things, start relaxing and getting ourselves together in our mental and physical bodies, okay? So, come on, let's deep dive into this. Your future is bright with possibilities on Let's Talk Sunday. Hey everybody, hello, 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 Sharice Johnson Moore here, your hope builder, lifting you out of your sorrow by guiding you to see the Christ within Hello, everyone, everyone's, everyone's. Hello, darlings. How are y'all doing today? And, um, okay, well, how are y'all doing? My name is Sharice Johnson Moore, and I am your hope builder. Lifting you out of your sorrow by guiding you to see the Christ within. Hello, and welcome, everyone that are that is in the audience. And I'm so happy that you have joined. And Hazel, you are not late. You are right on time, baby. Okay, so uh, welcome to uh, Let's Talk Sunday. And today, I just want to give you some motivation. I want to give you some motivation. Motivation is very good. You know, our topic today is your future is bright with possibilities. And I say that because a lot of times we are <clears throat> bombarded. We may be bombarded with some, uh, you know, life and issues and sometimes other people's problems. And we got this and that and the third to do, right? And sometimes we may feel discouraged or we may feel uh, lonely or we may feel um, that it is um, sometimes things overwhelm us. But uh, what I've learned is that you have to put, you have to separate things. It's good to separate. Hello, Hazel. How are you doing? Hi, baby. How are you doing? Um, and my thing is, at, you know, my thing is, uh, we are on the East Coast. East Coast time is nine o'clock here. And on the West Coast, I think it is like six, like three hours behind us or, or something like that, Miss Hazel. Okay, so. Your future is bright with possibilities. Sometimes we might get discouraged or depressed or anxious, and there's no need to be like that. Because we have to learn how to separate, and we have to learn how to delegate. 
things to other people that we need help with. Sometimes we uh, we may run into some stuff that is not even our stuff. Okay, if you get what I'm saying. Because what I have learned when you have a when when you separate when you separate your anxiety from other people's anxiety, it is so much better. Peaceful. And you have to, and sometimes you got to demand, I won't get, I'm going to get my peace. Peace is a part of this bright future of possibilities. Because when you have peace and you have serenity, you can see forward. You can see clearly. You can see um, that sometimes life uh, uh, can be Sometimes we can see that life can be um, more open and free when we learn boundaries. Yeah, I've talked about this before in previous videos, but I think I need to bring that up again. And my thing is, um, We have to learn how to breathe. Sometimes stuff overwhelms us so much that we cannot breathe, that we cannot even take a breath because it's so much stuff loaded down on our shoulders. And we have to learn how to delegate other things to other people, get some help. And then we have clarity. Clarity comes in when you when you um relieve yourself of these burdens, of these chaos, you know, and I'm going to say this, you cannot do everything. I learned that the hard way when I was trying to do everything. Everything seemed overwhelming because I did not put the stuff where it belongs. Hello. How you doing? Arden A. Garner is here. Hi, baby. How are you doing? Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for uh, watching and coming in the rock. I mean, you know, coming and watching and enjoying uh, my segment. And when you have a future of bright possibilities, it opens your eyes to see that anything is possible. Anything is possible because sometimes we have to we have to let things go. When we let things go. The, the future is brighter. When we let things go, when we let toxic relationships go, when we let uh uh you know toxic toxic people, you know toxic situations, and sometimes we just look. I'm gonna tell you, something, you can't control everything. You cannot control everything. And the one thing you cannot control is other people's behavior. Okay. Some behavior you had to put them over there. Look, I, I can't do you. I can't I can't do what you do. Okay. And then some people you really want to bond with. It's called it's relationships. And sometimes you want to, you know, you wanna you wanna find the perfect relationship to have friendship with. And when we love ourselves. When we love ourselves and take the time to love ourselves, we get to the point where we don't accept other people's mess. Let me say that one more again. When we find the right relationship and we love ourselves, we learn how not to take other people's mess. We learn to stand up for ourselves. We learn how to speak up for ourselves. And that also causes your future to be bright because everybody can't go with you. Everybody can't go with you on the journey God got, got for you. See, a lot of times we 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 want to be friends with everybody. We want to be friends with everybody. And then we realize, we realize, oh my God, I didn't realize how toxic this person was. Or we didn't realize that they were gonna betray us like that. And then I look, you know, and 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 when you love yourself, you take care of yourself. When 
when you love yourself, you take care of yourself, okay? Because I had to learn that too with myself. My health, I had high blood pressures, high blood pressure, and and then you got problems, you know, your, your back hurting, and, and you got, and then you, your hips and everything start hurting, and you wake up in the morning with pain, and that is not a good thing when you when your body start acting up on you. I'm 51 years old, and now the doctor has told me I have arthritis, Okay. I'm like, I'm too young to have arthritis because it's, you know, you're moving around and you're doing and you're doing and you're doing and you're not sitting down and you're not relaxing and every five minutes you got to be doing something. It's called uh, pump the brakes and say, no, I can't do this for you. I can't go here for you. I can't. Sometimes, Chad, that's the magic word. No. When you, when you, when you, you decide to take care of yourself and love yourself. No is the magic word. Your future is bright possibilities. Because you are taking the time to say, look, you think about it. That's another thing you do when you when you have future bright possibilities, your future bright possibilities. You think about stuff before you jump and say yes. You think about it, be like, hmm, should I? I don't know, maybe. Then you think about the situation. He be like, no, I ain't, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. No, it don't align. It don't. Then also, you learn how to have alignment with your feelings when it comes to your instinct and your guts. You know, when your gut and your gut instinct, when you when someone has, uh, you know, when you start listening to your gut. And what God say, you really gotta, you, you really gotta going on then. You got, you got it going on, okay? Because you have a flow. And and when you have peace and joy and happiness in your life, and you love yourself and you take care of yourself, your future is bright because you're not stressed out. You're not you're not stressed out. You're not you you're not. Oh, what am I do with this? I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this for my kids and da, da, da. Hold up. Some things these children be throwing at us. They think we supposed to do everything for them. Hold up, no. You you is grown. You is over over certain over a certain age. Children can be doing some stuff for themselves. Some things they just need to learn how to do that do for themselves. And then us, uh, you know, us adults need to learn that too. Look, stop trying to hover. Don't hover over the children. Let them, let them, let them, you know. Okay, Miss Hazel, that's good. You get a little breakfast. Um, Miss Hazel, what you eating? <laughs> I wonder what you eating, Miss Hazel. I had a bagel this morning. So, um, bagel in my coffee, okay. And I also, you know, it, it's good when you also decide that when you get up in the morning, don't look at this. Stop looking at the phone. Pick the phone up. Let me tell you, I'll tell you, save you. Save you some trouble, some trouble, trouble. Okay. Um, <laughs> I try to be, I, I'm a relaxed. I'm a relaxed host. So this is me. And I'm going to do me. Stop looking at this phone first thing in the morning. Turn it off. Turn it off. Turn it off. Turn it off. Even turn the screen off. You might want to just go all the way out. And turn it off. Off. Just turn it off. Because it distracts us. It, 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 I, don't, I do not touch my phone in the morning. I don't. Only time I touch this phone is when I'm going to do my podcast. I pull the little app up, Anchor app, and get busy with my daily devotionals in the morning. That's the first thing. That's the first time I pick my phone up. Not as soon as I get out the bed, because I got to go wash my face, you know, take my showers, get myself together, put some clothes on, and then I turn around, I sit down, and I have a bagel. Or I have an egg sandwich and I have my coffee and I sit there and enjoy my breakfast. 
I learned how to do that. Amen, Miss Hazel. Let go and let God. Amen. That's what I do. I turn around. I don't pick the phone up in the morning. First thing in the morning, I got to look at. No, they can wait. Okay, oatmeal and toast. I know that's right, girl. Hey, I love me. Look, I I I cook up a breakfast in a minute with some bacon, some eggs, some grits. Um, sausage patties, you know, you know, I, I like I, I like a nice breakfast in the morning. My thing is, is sometimes y'all learn how to say, "Look, I need to come first. I need to put God first. and I always put God first in the morning. That's the first thing I do. Now, after I get myself together, I have my breakfast. I turn around and I, I just. I just turn around and start working on my podcast. And my podcast is their devotional. It is um, you know, a segment where I give a word every day in the morning to give you encouragement on my podcast, Sharice Johnson Moe's podcast. And my thing is then my day is better when I spend time with God like that. Amen. Amen, Miss Hazel. You know, I spend I sp- Spend time with God. That's how I spend time with God. I read the word. I share it with everybody. And then I give you the the how you can apply that word to your life and daily living. That's how I, I do. And I don't I, I used to rush to do everything. Oh God, I, 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 I used to run. I used to get up in the morning and go straight in the office and get busy with my work. Now it's like I ain't like that stuff going anywhere. Slow down sometimes. Stop being in a hurry to do everything. When when you relax and you take your time doing stuff during the course of the day, it's less stressful. Less stressful. We have to take our take our time to uh uh relax for a minute. Relax. relax. So uh-uh. I didn't mean to do that. My bad. Um, so <laughs> my thing is when you your future is bright with possibilities because a lot of stuff we do in our life can be alleviated by the people, places, and things. People, places, and things we can avoid to keep ourselves being stressful. And that makes our future our future bright with possibilities because it gives us time to think. You, you know, you're being bombarded all day, you know, but you, you need, you need, it's good to take a break. It's good to take a nap. It's good to relax. If you can go, you know, to the spa or you go get a pedicure or manicure. When I step into the chair or the man going do my nails or the lady doing my feet, I go sleep. Because I know I'm tired. I, I know I'm tired if I go to sleep in the man chair. Okay, he doing my nails and stuff and I'm sitting there like this. You know, just nodding off because it's relaxing. You have to find more relaxing activities to do um, and clean out your environment of people, places, and things that bring you stress, bring you anxiety, bring you uh, uh, bring you their drama that ain't, ain't even yours. And love yourself unconditionally. Love yourself unconditionally. Okay. I want to thank everyone for coming in today. Also, I want to let you know, I got a new item for my business. 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 Okay, these are the new Author Excerpt Sunday Cups. Okay, these are my author's excerpt Sunday cups. I had them specially made. So, um, I will be taking orders for these. I will be putting them on my website for tomorrow. These are my author's excerpt Sunday cups. This is what they look like on the inside. And the girl specially made the epoxy, epoxy, epoxies. You know, y'all seen them, the people make the poxies with the little plates and all that other stuff. I don't know if y'all keep up with that. But this is a new item. It is called the Arthur's Extra Sunday Cup. Okay? 
and it will be on sale uh tomorrow i put it on the website i got to put all this stuff on the website tonight so and um then uh, i want to let y'all know that i have these my t-shirts these are my t-shirts this is one this is one this is one special t-shirt i don't know if y'all can see that okay yeah front back also i'm getting ready to make uh my sister is the my sister of felicia cozy corners um felicia cozy corners uh made this shirt okay i think this is one of her shirts and then i had another young lady um make my shirts and i think you know but felicia cozy corners makes all my shirts i've had one i've had a uh, one person outside of my sister felicia cozy corners is the she's you can find her on facebook and instagram felicia cozy corners she makes t-shirts she makes coffee mugs she does uh hoodies she is she sold she make blankets she knits she make the hats for winter time and scarves she even make baby blankets um and I, I want y'all to go and 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 purchase her items because she is so 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 good. Okay, she's located in um, Wayne, Michigan. I think it's Wayne. It's not far from Detroit. Okay, let me just say. Okay, that or Inkster. Okay. Um, she makes uh the t-shirts. And she makes she can make your t-shirts. Go to Felicia Cozy Corners, my sister, Wanda Felicia Barnes, and go and get you some t-shirts made. Okay, if you need some t-shirts made, she will make them for you. She makes coffee mugs. She do the baby blankets. She do the big blankets for the king size, queen size beds. She uh knits. She sews. She does all of that and more. Okay, Felicia Cozy Corners. You find her on Facebook. You find her on Instagram under Felicia Cozy Corners. Okay, um, if you don't know about this book, here it is. Here we go. Coming to Loving Yourself is an autobiography, inspirational book about me. Okay, and how the book freed me from everything. This book freed me when I wrote it. Okay, it's uh, and I, I wrote this book to save somebody else's life to save their souls, to save their minds, to save them from thinking, don't nobody love them, don't nobody want them, don't nobody need them. Look, coming to loving yourself, that the title fits this book because I dealt with a lot of drama and, and, and fatherless. I, I was fatherless. I was motherless. But I had grandparents that loved me. And but there's none like parents, okay? I'm just kidding. And um, I dealt with a lot of trauma, abuse, uh, you know, things like that in my life. And I just wrote this. I wrote this book because I want to save. I save myself and I want to save somebody else with this book. www.sharisnjohnsonmore.com. It is in the ticker at the bottom of the of the other page okay where you can get this book from you can go on the website you can go to amazon and get it you can go to barnes and nobles and goodreads okay and you go to my website okay the autograph copy comes from me of course okay and i still got plenty downstairs okay then i have this book this is the workbook that goes with the book okay it is entitled come in loving yourself study guide to building your self-worth you can also find this on my website, www.sharisnjohnsonmore.com backslash shop. Okay. And um, if you would, you know, if you want to contact me through Facebook, that's fine as well. Um, you can contact me through Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, uh, LinkedIn, uh, Facebook, Sharice Johnson Moore, LLC. Uh, or Sharice Johnson Moore 2, that's what they call it on the on that's the link. Then you can reach me through um LBM is my LBM TV is my streaming channel. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Hazel, for following me. I greatly appreciate it. So 
I want to say if you don't have these books, it's all you got to get it. You got to get it. It's a workbook and it helps. It helps you work out through your problems and work in your mind. It helps you uh, work out uh, some things that you may have been through. It, you know, it helps you work out your childhood stuff. It helps you work out your uh, uh, teenage things, uh, what you went through teenage years. It also helps you with your adult. So it's five chapters in this. It's five work. It's five chapters in this workbook that help you get, uh, help help you manage or help you uh, move forward in your life. Um, and I never tell anybody to get over it. No, we don't know. Sometimes we just don't never tell the person they get over it. That's the going through some stuff. Okay, because um. Just, you, you know, you got to help them. You got to sit and talk with them. You have to have time, spend time with them, okay? Like I said, this is the new item. This is my author's extra Sunday mug. Okay, now if you want one of these, you can, you can, you can, you can DM me, private message me, and I will send you an invoice if you would like to order it now. Um, And I uh, wanted to say that it is, it is, the young lady, she is, let me see, let me see, let me see. Okay, wait a minute. I still got the box. <laughs> Her name is, okay, yeah, you got to get it. Um, uh, Amanda Broadnex. She's an author and a CEO. You can find her under um, TikTok. As at Poxy Creations 22, Facebook um, Amanda Broadnex, and uh, uh, Instagram underscore underscore her creations, and she's out of Emporia, Virginia. Hey, she's from, from my home state in, in Virginia. She's out of Emporia. Emporia is not far from Suffolk, not far from Franklin, not far from Gates County. Okay, so um, you know, and she she does a good job, and it, it take when she finished, it take maybe two days for you to get you know to to get your package, you know. Um, and I wanted to say it's very important that you love yourself, and you may put yourself first, and um, relax, relate. And release. Okay, everybody. I love you. Thank you for watching. Uh, let's talk Sunday. Your future is bright with possibilities if you just change some things around in your life. Okay, baby. Okay. Okay. Um, let me see. I think. Let me, let me, let me. Oh, that was crazy. Okay, so we're going to put her. You want the lady information, Miss Hazel? The lady I just talking about made the mug. Is that what you're talking about? Wrong card. Hold on. Wait a minute. Like I said, I just got this the other day. I haven't even thought it. I just pulled it out of the box. Okay, it just came yesterday. Uh, day four. It's been here for a while, but I just, you know, wanted to let everybody know about it. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, let's see. Okay. Her name is the creation of the coffee mug is Amanda Bronex. X. Okay. And she goes by IG. Okay, I'm gonna so everybody will see it in the comments. IG of let's see. It underscore underscore her her Creations, creations. Okay, that's what she IG, 
And then we got, um, okay, uh, Amanda, let's see, A A A A D Broad. Okay, Ron X is from Facebook. Ooh. Facebook. And then we're going to uh, TikTok. TikTok uh, is, let's see, her TikTok name is at P O X Y Z R E A T I O N. Okay, that's the information we got for the Amanda Broadnex. It's a Facebook page, and I greatly appreciate everyone coming in and watching. I thank you so much. I love you. Okay, and um, I will be here for you. And if you need to talk, you can call me, or you can te- or you can. Reach out to me through my email at I am. I'm put this email in my email. Okay, I'm gonna put this in the comments so y'all will be uh, able to reach me. I am S H R R I C E at S H R R I C E N J O. So I'm not gonna spell this stuff out, child, because sometimes my mind go way to the left sometimes, and you gotta. Okay, and then my website. I'm gonna put that in the comments too. Okay, babies. Uh, it's all we're also running across the screen, running across your screen, um, in the ticker tape at the bottom of your screen. As you, if you're watching this program, my email address. But um, just to be on the safe side, I want to put it in the comments. Okay, and you can go and get your new mug. It's entitled An Author's Extra Sunday Mug. Okay, I love y'all. I hope y'all like the design. She got the little books on it. That was right cute and everything. That was cute. Okay, I love you. And I will talk to y'all later. Okay, <clears throat> bye, babies. Okay, let's see. Hmm, let me get y'all. <laughs> All right, I see y'all later. Okay, I right, see y'all back here at three. Hello everyone, Sharice Johnson Moore here, your hope builder, lifting you out of your sorrow by guiding you to see the Christ within through scripture and practical applications. Yes, child. LBM TV has advertising spots open and we want you to join the family. You want to advertise your book trailer, your candle business. Your writing business, your ghost writing, your uh, construction business, uh, your 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 home renovation business. We are here for you. We want to give you the exposure that you need in this season. So, if you are interested in advertising on LBM TV, just come and see me, Sharice Johnson Moore. You can reach me at I am Sharice at ShariceNJohnsonMoore.com and let's sit down and expose your business to the world. Okay? Come on now. Advertise. 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 Hello 
everyone, Sharice Johnson Moore here, your hope builder, lifting you out of your sorrow by guiding you to see the Christ within through scripture and practical applications. Yes, child. LBM TV has advertising spots open and we want you to join the family. You want to advertise your book trailer, your candle business, your writing business, your ghost writing, your uh, construction business, uh, your, your, your home renovation business. We are here for you. We want to give you the exposure that you need in this season. So, if you are interested in advertising on LBM TV, just come and see me, Sharice Johnson Moore. You can reach me at I am Sharice at ShariceNJohnsonMoore.com and let's sit down and expose your business to the world. Okay? Come on now. Advertise. 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 <laughs> And welcome to LBM TV. I am Sharice Johnson Moore, owner and CEO of LBM TV. Here at LBM TV, our objective is to give you programming that will invigorate, motivate, and inspire you. Our programming will provide you with insight, in-depth knowledge, and solutions in your daily living. We can be seen on every smart TV, smartphone globally. We're located on C1 Media Smart TV app, Apple TV, Roku TV, Amazon Fire TV, Android TV, and Google TV. So get ready to enjoy a positive, uplifting program for your daily living here at LBM TV, where we care about you. Thank <laughs> you. 